Welcome to the Budget Mom YouTube channel. I'm Kanika Love from thebudgetmom.com and today we're gonna be talking all about cleaning tips, tricks, and hacks for your car. Now, this video was brought up from a lot of requests after sharing just some small details about how I clean and keep up on the cleaning tasks on my car, especially living in the country and dealing with driving on a dirt road every single day. Now, as you can imagine, the dust that builds up is actually really incredible. And it's, I almost feel like I'm fighting it every single day, but there are some things that I have learned and have brought into my life to kind of help combat the dust and make cleaning the inside of my car efficient. So one of the things I wanna talk about very quickly is I do not schedule time in my life to clean my car. It's not like I go and say, okay, Saturday I'm taking an hour to clean my car. I just don't have time. So what I do is I speed or spot clean when I need to. And those are the things that I'm gonna be sharing with you today. All right, so let's talk about vacuuming very quickly. Now, when it comes to the world of vacuum cleaners for your car, the options are endless. So I wanna talk a little bit about why I chose the option I did. Um, so I use just a cordless Black & Decker vacuum cleaner, just a mini one that looks like this. I chose this based off the reviews and its suction power. So nothing makes me more frustrated than trying to vacuum out my car with a vacuum cleaner that doesn't have enough suction power to pick up all the mini rocks. I don't know if you've ever gotten to that situation, but it's frustrating. So I got this, it can go for about 15 to 20 minutes off of charge. So you have about 15, 20 minutes to use it. I never go over that, many, that much time within my Jeep. Now I have a 2017 Jeep Patriot. Um, and I do have one kitty, kiddo that I am dealing with in the back seat. So I do spot cleaning with this. It does a, a pretty remarkable job for the power for a cordless vacuum. You can also position it in different positions by pushing a button and it locks. So maybe I wanna get in the really tight space in between my car seat and the car door, it can actually move positions. So when I'm cleaning, when I'm speed cleaning the inside of my car, I don't necessarily take out my mats. I vacuum everything right then and there. But if maybe I am taking a little bit longer in my day to do more of a deep clean, I will remove my actual uh, floor mats, shake them out, and then vacuum underneath. But today, I'm just going to be very quickly cleaning and, and vacuuming the floor mats and everything. And so this is what I use to quickly speed or spot clean and vacuum my car floors. All right, so we're actually inside my car right now. I just wanna show you what I have going on in my, clean, in my glove box. So I don't know if you've ever heard of super clean slime. I always have a bottle or a little tub of this in my office for my keyboard and my electronics, as well as in my car, and I'll show you why. So, it is, <laughs> I don't know if you remember when you were a kid and you had that gack slime it is like that but you can see <laughs> it's kind of gross but it works it doesn't stick to your hands as you can see but this is wonderful Woo! wonderful for <laughs> this is wonderful for cleaning out your air vents so you literally just push it stick it and it doesn't come out in pieces but you can get in all the different crevices and it picks up dust. Doesn't leave any type of residue or slime. Sometimes I'll just roll it over. It's great for screens. And the great thing is with the slime, it conforms to all the different areas. So 
So I literally like all these really hard to reach crevices, I'll just put, kind of makes a gross sound, but like if you want to get all the dust and dirt and grime out of in between here, it just conforms. So that's what I use to actually clean out my, my air vents and any other little areas in my car. The great thing too is you can actually rinse, rinse this in the sink and rinse it out if you get a lot of debris on the slime. I put it back into my jar and I just keep this in my car. Okay, let's talk about the your cup holders. Now, a lot of people, especially if you have kiddos, they're dropping their snacks and they're, you're spilling their drinks and your cup holders and they're hard to clean. The one thing that I have recognized and learned about my car is the fact that my cup holders actually come out. So I can just clean the mat, quickly clean the sides, and my cup holders aren't that hard to clean in this car. But if you don't have that option, keeping a silicone cupcake um, cup inside each one of your cup holders will make it really easy for you just to remove the silicone cupcake holder and then wash that in the sink and put it back in your car. But because mine come out, I don't have to do that. Another thing that has really helped me is anytime we go out to eat and you know, whether it be Chipotle or one of those places or we do a takeout order, shh, don't tell anybody. I actually carry and take out a couple more napkins than what I need. This is great if you have kids. I don't know how many times my son has spilt something or said, mom, I have a runny nose or whatever it may be. And I have napkins in my car and I just keep them in my glove box. And you can see, <laughs> I have quite a few of them over time. They've just built up, but I just grab a few extra ones than what I need for my meal and I stick them in my glove box. Um, and these come in handy, especially if there's spills inside the car. All right, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the dust that accumulates on your dashboard. Inside my glove box, so I have my registration, I have earmuffs, I have an umbrella, but I also have and keep in my car at all times a microfiber cloth. Now, I don't know about you, but I always have water somewhere in my car. For instance, I always have a cup of water in my car at all times. I just have my little Starbucks tumbler and it's full of water. So if I'm sitting through the drive-thru or I'm waiting to pick up my son from school, I'm waiting for him to come out of school, I'll pour a little bit of water on my microfiber cloth. And with a little bit of water, I quickly just dust off my dashboard. And inside my house, in a little bucket, I have clean microfiber cloths. If your microfiber cloth gets too dirty, and I just throw this one in the laundry. So I just do it when I have time to do it. But a microfiber cloth is great because it picks up all the dust. It actually cleans really well. It sanitizes as you go. So microfiber cloth is the best option. I just keep one in my glove box at all times. So another thing that helps with cleaning efficiently and very quickly in your car, especially have, is if you have children, I have a little garbage can in the front. I actually probably should utilize one in the back seat for James, but he just hands me his garbage. I stick it up here. Um, I got this little one on Amazon. I'll make sure to link it in the description of this video, but keeping a little garbage can, when you're picking out a garbage can for your car, make sure that it's like inside, this is water resistant. So if something does spill in here, it's not spilling out the bottom all in, inside your car. And then make sure that you get one that's easy to clean. Like I just take my hose and spray this out when I want to clean it. So that's another small tip as far as taking care of the garbage. Now we're going to move to the back seat. 
So another thing that I have dealt with with my son and having leather seats is that my son would get in the car after playing outside or picking him up for school or whatever, and he would actually rest his feet up against the back seat of my car and it was causing a lot of dirt to get on the leather. So I invested, these are really actually really, really affordable on Amazon. They're called kick mats. And they essentially, you can see he already is you putting his feet on here, but it essentially just protects the back of your seat from getting dirt from your children's feet. If they're the type of children that kick the back of your seat or they put their feet up on the back of the seat, this is going to help. So this made a big difference in my life because I wasn't constantly wiping off the back of my back seat. The next thing I wanna talk about very quickly is my son, he's still in a booster chair. And when I first got my car, I really wanted to make sure that I protected the leather seats. So I invested in, it's a uh, car seat protector, it has these little pads and essentially it just protects your seat from all the different droppings that your kids may drop, all the stuff that spills, as well as the indentation that the booster seat can actually cause on your car seats from the weight of someone sitting in the car seat. So that's another really big tip that's helped me as far as keeping my seats clean and protected from my son who is destructive at times. So let's talk about cleaning the leather in my car. All right, so I use a specific leather cleaner and conditioner. It's from Real Simple. Looks like this. I put just a very small amount, very, very small amount, probably like that. It, a little goes a long way with this. And this is actually what I use to clean the great thing is, is it's a cleaner and a conditioner all in one. So I quickly just wipe down and I like to do this about once every month just because I don't want that, de that dust settling into the pores of my leather. So I like to make sure that I pick up that dust off my leather seats about once a month. And if it's really bad, I might take five or 10 minutes out of my day to wipe them down. Now, have you ever got frustrated with like trying to clean in between and get really deep down in the crack between your car seats? What I do is I take just a paint stick. So we are in the middle of doing some remodeling in my home. I just take a paint stick. I take the same cloth that has the leather cleaner. I wrap it around the paint stick that looks like this. And it allows me just to easily get way down deep in there and clean. So that's how I, and this is great if you have children in the back seat and crumbs and, and crap gets in between the cracks of your seats, this will get inside the crack of the seat really, really well. So those are just some of the tips, tricks, and hacks that I use to spot or speed clean the interior of my car, especially living in the country and on a dirt road. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I hate this shirt. So then I just keep one in my dash, or in my, um, what's this called? Oh, I just keep one in my glove box at all times. Yes. Okay, at all times.